So, the Game Awards is a thing, and it, it happened. Yeah, the annual Game Awards aired earlier today, and we have a few problems with it. We just feel like it's not exactly the event that it claims to be, and we wanted to share our thoughts with you guys and just explain a little bit more about why we were disappointed. It's not all doom and gloom, though. We definitely appreciate the amount of work that goes into creating an event like this, and the fact that it brings video games to a wider audience, well, that's, that's never a bad thing. The industry definitely needs an award show. We just feel like it deserves better. I guess our biggest gripe is that the Game Awards didn't feel like it was about the Game Awards. Oh yeah. They should have called it the Game Showcases. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously it's important to have a few Game Showcases in there. Nobody's going to be complaining about hearing about the best new games that are coming out but there were so many and some of them weren't even game related. Like there were some movie trailers and things. They felt a little more like ads. And we understand the necessity for those as well. It seems like a pretty big event. It's probably going to cost a lot of money mm -hmm. to produce. But it just felt more like a showcase and... A cash grab. A cash grab. A little bit yeah. like a cash grab. There's nothing wrong with some game announcements and game trailers, but when it comes at the expense of the game awards, which is what it's supposed to be about, then maybe there's a bit more of an issue. 100%. Some of the sponsors were mentioned more than some of the games were. Yeah. There was some pizza remote from Grubhub or something. You could get a pizza remote. That was mentioned at least two times. At least twice. Mm -hmm. I don't care about Nate Hill and his... 5G Horizon Network or whatever's going on that, that was mentioned was, like a billion times. That was mentioned at least like six times. They were a huge sponsor of the show, obviously. And yeah. again, nothing wrong with shouting out your sponsors, but I'm sorry, Nate Hill. You're sucking up to the man, man. Some of the recipients, sorry, all of the recipients only got 30 seconds to speak when we heard about some of these sponsors multiple times. It's just not fair. I would have way preferred to hear some of the recipients talk about how they got to receiving this award. What happened? What was their journey? What was their path like for creating the game? I would honestly rather hear that than almost anything that happened at the Game Awards. I could have gone without one of the pizza emote ads yes. and actually be able to hear about It Takes Two. Yeah, that would have been really nice. <laughs> yeah, I would have loved to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. a bit more about It Takes Two. It's such an interesting, heartfelt game. There's some stories behind that. Yeah. Some of the recipients didn't even get a chance to speak and no award to collect. They just got skipped over. Yeah, at least some of them got 30 seconds. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> 30 seconds. A big 30 seconds. But what do they base the criteria on? Like, how do they decide what award is deserving of 30 seconds and one isn't? The ones that were skipped over, their names weren't even read out. It was just a list of the nominees on the side here. These are the nominees. The award goes to... The show claims to be accessible for all people. They have an award for accessibility. I have many dyslexic friends that would not be able to follow the Game Awards simply because they weren't reading out the nominees. It's just not all inclusive. And... I feel sorry for some of my friends if they if they did watch this. I'm sorry if you couldn't follow along because they weren't being all inclusive to people with dyslexia or other such problems. It all comes under the banner of it's not about the games. They should have at least read the nominees It out. kind of just seemed like they didn't even know who the nominees were, to be honest. 100%. Genshin exactly. impact anyone? <laughs> if you watched it, you know. Genshin. Genshin Impact. <laughs> I mean, obviously that not everybody is expected to know everything about or have played all of the games that are nominated. But I feel like you can at least read out the nominees. You can at least know the titles of the nominees. Yeah. Some winners didn't even get their names listed on the screen. Some nominees didn't even get mentioned. This is probably our biggest gripe. And every time it happened, I got more and more annoyed. See, I, was, I was yelling at the TV at one stage. It's <laughs> true. Tell us who the nominees are. So if you don't know what we're talking about, I think the first example was when Kena yeah. Bridge of Spirits yeah. won an award. 
There was a little voice in the background that said, King of Bridge of Spirits also won the award for this. And that was all. Okay. How disappointing for all of the nominees of that category. I'm pretty sure it was the indie category as well. It was. It was so debut the, indie. Yeah, the well, games that true. need it most, the games that need people to see their trailers in order to, to sell things or to, to be showcased, didn't get it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me. And also, the people that received the award for Kena didn't pick up two awards. There was only one statue sitting there. That's true. Interesting choices, Game Awards. That was interesting. Interesting choices. Then there's the issue of the pre-show versus the actual show. What was the difference? Well, I thought that all of the awards were going to be handed out in the Game Awards section of the show rather than the pre-show. I... Okay, so maybe it was just me, but I thought that the pre-show was mainly for the premieres, etc., and then the Game Awards was mainly for the Game Awards. But then a lot of the awards were given out in the pre-show. Yeah. So the only difference was the host? Didn't, doesn't make a lick of sense to me. We actually missed the start of the pre-show, and then they announced an award just as we tuned in, and we were like, oh, well, we're going to have to go back and watch that after, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Could just be one. You don't need a pre-show. Yeah. Stop being lazy, everyone. And our final gripe, which isn't just, it's not a gripe, it's just a, a fact. Yeah. There was no Nintendo. You guys know, we, we mainly make Nintendo content. We love Nintendo. They weren't there. I was really holding out for some Breath of the Wilds 2 news. Uh, we also didn't have any Xbox. And... We didn't have any PlayStation. Oh, sorry. I think there was one Horizon trailer. Yeah. Horizon Forbidden West. One snippet. That's it. Yeah. The three major video game companies in the world were not there. What does that tell you about the Game Awards? That they skipped the event and maybe we should have too. <laughs> I think that's going to be the title of many YouTube videos coming out over the next few days. In fact, I think it already is. Yeah, I'm sure it already is. <laughs> So we did just want to quickly mention the fact that Jeff Keighley did bring up all of the issues facing the industry at the moment, namely the abuse that is going on. We think it's great he mentioned it. Bit disappointed he didn't drop any names, but it was an important message to at least... Mention it. He at least acknowledged something, didn't he? Yes, he uh, did acknowledge something. Props to him. Credit where credit's due. We'll give it to him. Mm. Let's be honest, it's the world that's wrong, though. There's something wrong with this world. Yeah, well. It's not just the gaming industry. It's the whole world. <laughs> so now we've got all of our gripes out of the way. Mainly, it's it's not an award show. We wanted, to, we wanted to bring in a bit of positivity around these parts. You guys know how we roll. We're not overly negative people. We don't like to always look on the bad side of things. So, we got some awesome games. There were some really, really cool announcements that I'm very excited for. 100%. Some very cool announcements. Again, we love game trailers. Nothing wrong with having them there. No. So we're course. just going to go over a couple of our favourites. Laura, what are you most excited for? I'm most excited for Hellblade 2. That looks amazing. That was all gameplay trailer or gameplay cinematic trailer. So cinematics yeah. using the engine at least. Mm -hmm. It um, looks really incredible. It looks amazing. It doesn't 100% that giant. Ooh. Ooh, some cool stuff going on there. I'm pretty excited to learn more about that story. Yes, 100%. I'm also excited for Metal Hell Slinger. That game looks sick. Rhythm-based first-person shooter. I'm a big metal fan. Is it? Is it obvious? I understand it's not everyone's thing. I love it. So I'm very intrigued to figure out exactly how they incorporate these metal tracks into the rhythm-orientated mechanics of a first-person shooter. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be Cadence of Hyrule style. No. Because they showed in the gameplay footage just like fluid movement. Yes, 100%. Maybe you get extra points when you get a headshot on the beat. Yeah, it must be something to do with the... As Randy weapons. Blythe screams, you make a character scream and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> extra points. <laughs> extra <laughs> points. I don't know, but I'm pretty excited for that. We also got Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I know it's not our first look at the game, but I like superheroes. I like the Suicide Squad. 
let's be honest, I don't have a chance in hell against the Flash. But I'm excited for it. It yeah. looks cool. I'll definitely be picking that one up. Among Us in VR. Yeah. We don't have a VR system, console, headset, headset. thing. <laughs> we don't have <laughs> one of those VR things. But I would actually consider it. I love Among Us, a huge fan of Among Us. We Just stream it. Among Us. Yeah, well, we stream it on Twitch all the time. We do stream it on Twitch. Check us out over on Twitch if you'd like to see any of our Among Us streams. Yeah. I don't think it's worth buying a whole VR system for a five dollar game. Well, maybe not for Among Us, but there's lots of other good. There is hundred yeah. percent. If anyone else has a VR system, please pick up Among Us and let us know how it goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And then we got Sonic Breath of the Wild. <laughs> or what was it called? Sonic, Sonic Frontiers. Frontiers. No gameplay, but just like a. A showcase of the world that it's going to be about. It looks like a pretty spectacular. It looks very Breath of the Wildy it with does. all the ruins. It Breath even the had the over the mountain shot. Yeah, did it classic behind the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like those style of games. I like yeah. that a lot of games are going that way. I'm not the biggest Sonic fan in the world. I'm just not fast enough. I, <laughs> I love platformers. Never been able to wrap my head around Sonic, but I do love him as a character and. I will definitely be picking up some. Yeah, I'll definitely pick it, it looks, up. It looks really fun. And again, we just wanted to reinforce the fact that the Game Awards does bring video games to the mainstream. It helps the whole industry and people like us get taken seriously. It's something that can't be understated. Video games need to be taken more seriously. These people put long, hard hours, years sometimes decades of their lives into creating some fantastic experiences Mm -hmm. for people like us. And they deserve some credit. I just think they deserve more credit. Yes. Congratulations to all the winners. We're not trying to undermine any of the hard work that went into putting this show on. Jeff Keighley, thank you. We think that all the winners were 100% deserved. Mm -hmm. Everyone, every one of the categories was the right decision in our opinion. They weren't necessarily what we voted for, but we're not upset about any of the no. decisions that were made by... I don't think any of the decisions were horrendous. No, they weren't. The corporate suits did a pretty good job at picking who won and who didn't. <laughs> let's be honest, our votes didn't count for anything. No. I think it's like 10%. If it even is, maybe they just say that. Who knows? <laughs> I just wish that we got to hear people talk about what went into making the game, what their thought process was when they were and having the creative vision of this game and basically just hearing more from the winners about the actual games that they created. Give them a minute and 30 seconds maybe. Yeah. Let them thank people and tell us a little bit about the process. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for watching and just remember that these are our opinions. 100%. If you thought the Game Awards were fantastic, That's awesome. Good. Like, that's more than okay. We totally respect that opinion. But let us know what your thoughts on the Game Awards are in the comments below. We love hearing what you're thinking, and the topic is always a little controversial. It is. You can't have the Game Awards without a little bit of controversy. Thank you so much. We appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you next time. But let us know what your thoughts are. But let us know what your th- <laughs> But let us know what your thoughts on the game were. <laughs> but let us know what your thoughts on. <laughs> but let us know what your th- <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on.